Hey guys, look what I found. It's a baby in a basket. See, wouldn't he be the perfect Christmas boutique gift item? <laughs> baby in a basket. It's a baby in a basket, for real. <laughs> oh, it's a baby in a basket. <laughs> baby in a basket. Say peekaboo. <laughs> we need to catch a baby. It's a baby trap. Oh, look, we caught one of those rad babies. Hello, baby. I caught you in the trap. <laughs> Alright guys, we have a special treat in store. Um, we'll get to it here in just a second. I was going to turn this around because Phoenix is like looking for me. But there's there's the gang. Hi, wave, say hi. Ed Roberts is just about ready to call uh, for the West Coast Hunters Convention. We're going to chat with him a little bit. Always a pleasure. And um, S-U-N is O-U-T. Oh, the sun is out. Oh my ah! god. Not supposed to say it. <laughs> Sorry. Mail call! But... Just something purchased, I guess. I got him Hellmouth shoes. Oh my gosh. They got flames going all the way up. That is cool. See? And they have the rubber skid bottom so we can go outside and walk around just like regular shoes. Woohoo! Run, baby, run. And there's one. Oh, on cute. It. Are you excited to be wearing your Hellmouth shoes? <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! All right. Ready for an interview? Ed Roberts is on the phone from the West Coast Haunters Convention. I'm so excited to have him here. Uh, of course, the West Coast Haunters Convention is May 16th through the 18th at the Doubletree Hotel in Portland, Oregon. Um, Ed, welcome. Thank you for, for spending some time with us today. My pleasure, Troy. Hi, everybody. So, um, Ed, what is different this year at the West Coast Haunters Convention compared to the prior four years? I, I know that we have a lot more vendors, and we have some really awesome uh, keynote speakers. Uh, can you go into that a little bit? Certainly, I'd be happy to. This year, uh, being our fifth year, uh, we, we're really excited to bring to uh, our attendees uh, three people, uh, three of the contestants from Face Off. This year we have RJ Hattie, Roy Woolley, and Mix Ferreira. All three of them just amazing artists, not just makeup artists, but costume fabricators, problem solvers, and all three of them are very approachable, just really great to work with. Their classes are listed on our website, so if you're interested in seeing what RJ or Roy Nix are teaching, uh, you can go to the website and learn that. I'm not sure if your listeners have ever heard of the show, but it's called Heroes of Cosplay, and uh, another one of our guest speakers this year is a gentleman by the name of Jesse Loggers. He's a local here in Portland, uh, and he's a cosplay, costume designer, cosplayer himself, and he will be teaching class, a class on costume fabrication using leather, and then another class on just basic leather tooling, and at the end of that class, you'll get a, a, a leather bracelet, so he'll teach you how to work with leather. We are offering over 60 different classes. That's 20 more than we've ever offered before. One of the main focuses of the West Coast Potters Convention from its inception, has been educating haunters. We want to be able to offer something for everybody who's interested in haunting, Halloween, Halloween enthusiast, makeup artist at your haunted house, the guy who's lighting your haunted house, actors, every aspect. We don't want to just focus on one area of haunting. We want to be able to reach out to everybody in the haunt industry. So we have 60 different classes. Too many for me to mention here in this uh, interview. But if you go to the website, go to the About tab and scroll down, you'll see a schedule. There's an at-a-glance schedule, and then there's individual class listings for the three days. Now let's see, we've got um, twice as many vendors this year at the, on the trade show, 10 of those of which are representing home haunters uh, from around the country uh, and Canada. On the trade show floor, there are also three classrooms. For the most part, those classrooms are the classes that have associated with them. Uh, that way, you don't, you know, when you go upstairs to the second floor to the four classrooms that are there, you know that those classes are free. The classes that are on the trade show floor, for the most part, there are a few that don't, but for the most part, those are the classes with these. Um, we have a, a company coming in from China this year, so we're actually now an international show. I'm excited about that. <laughs> um, yeah, and then 
of note, if any of your listeners have um, seen the show, it's called Shark Tank. It's um, where someone comes into a, and pitches an idea for a product to uh, four or five millionaire, billionaire investors. Well, uh, a group called by the name of uh, 1031 Productions pitched their idea and they actually were successful in getting the investment. They'll be at the, the West Coast Honors Convention with a booth and they will be doing auditions for uh, an event they have called the Great Horror Campout. Um, those auditions will be on Friday, no, Saturday and Sunday of the West Coast Hunters Convention. Again, all those details can be found on the uh, website or on our Facebook pages. We have Thursday night, the pre-show event this year. It's going to be a raucous good time. We're, we're loading up buses and we're heading over to the historic Clinton Street Theater. And for a private showing of the Rocky Horror Picture Show, that's Thursday. And heck, that event, 10 bucks. If you want a prop bag, $5 more. So for $15, you can get on a bus and go over to the, the theater and watch Rocky Horror Picture Show. Costumes are not required, but encouraged. Then Friday night, we'll be going to Milburn Manor, where he'll be opening his two haunted houses for us. The haunt tour includes snack bar will be open and it includes uh, items from the snack bar. So you'll get a, a voucher so you can go to the snack bar and try out his, what he calls, gourmet fair food. Then you'll be able to tour both those haunted houses. Tour tickets are on sale. They're $35. Saturday night, the big night for the charity ball. Um, this year's costume ball will be judged by all three of the cast members from Face Off. So we've raised the bar and we've changed the... Um, the categories for prizes this year. I don't have that list in front of me, but I know that uh, Corey Hunt and Byron Oler have been working on some deviously or deliciously devious new categories for our attendees and some new prizes and trophies. So those trophies will be unique to the West Coast Honors Convention. You know, if you're staying over through Monday and Sunday night, you want to come to the after after party, the nightmare after the West Coast Hunters Convention is going to be a blast. Um, Krampus will be there. You need to bring a present for Krampus uh, so he doesn't, uh, well, so he doesn't do anything naughty to you. Um, we'll be showing a couple of Christmas-related horror films. Um, there'll be snacks and drinks and all sorts of shenanigans taking place. Oh. I know, the 13th floor and room 666. There are probably, as of today, four rooms left on the 13th floor that haven't been purchased. So your listeners, if they're interested, can go to the website and purchase a, uh, an upgrade to the 13th floor if they're interested. You have to have a reservation, and that reservation has to be from Thursday through at least Sunday to have that upgrade before um $175 or for, that gives you just the upgrade, or for 269 that gives you the upgrade with the pass, the costume ball, the hot tour, and a t-shirt, you can have a room on the 13th floor. Troy, what do you think about our 13th floor? I think it was really awesome. The, the way that I've always seen the West Coast Honors Convention is kind of like a big family reunion, and that's kind of like how it felt on the 13th floor. Well, and then new this year for the 13th floor, uh, because we also have a... Uh, uh, cash bar there, so after everybody gets back from the tour or from Rocky Horror, they can head on up to the 13th floor and socialize. Uh, Dark Lights uh, uh, and Quan from Dark Lights has sponsored the 13th floor, so that's enabled us to open up one of the rooms. We're turning it into a lounge, and so there'll be more space for people to mix and mingle because it got a little crowded on the 13th floor, so we've got a little extra space for people to move around in. Room 666. The incredible Sandy Schneider and a variety of different people like the product creations and I'm, I'm going to blow this because there's some other vendors that have helped are going into room 666 and are decorating it to the theme of hell this year. Right now the current bid is $200. All you have to do is bid a dollar more to outbid. The thing is that like on the 13th floor, room 666 any of the decorations, any of the props, anything that's in there that's not belonging to the hotel becomes the person who's, who's in that room. So currently, whoever's bidding $200 is going to walk away with 
far more than $200 in props. I, and if someone has the, the money out there and wants to do it, this really does help the charity part of our convention. For $666, which I know sounds like a lot of money, but it's really worth it, we'll automatically get that room. And we get all of the props in there. And we've been leaking some of the different things that Sandy and her team have been uh, putting together for that room. But quite honestly, $200 is too cheap. Uh, not to, you know, underplay the, or undermine the person who did the $200. God bless them. But we need to get some more bids on that room 666 because $200, um, and I appreciate your bid, but the room is worth a lot more than that. So get on there, take a look at it. If you're interested and have have a desire to be uh, tormented in room 666, please uh, make a bid. So basically the way that it works uh, is that the people book the time for the hotel, so you pay for your room, and then if you want to upgrade that's right. to the 13th floor, um, that's uh, 175 extra? It's $175 just for the upgrade, but we also have a package deal where you can purchase the upgrade along with all of your show tickets for... Two sixty nine, so that's everything included. That's a savings of about like fifty bucks. Excellent, and then of course the uh, the same principle applies to room six six six. But the important thing about this, and and I'm glad. I mean, you've touched on it, but I want to you know reiterate that this is not for profit. You guys are a five hundred one c three charity. The uh, intent here is that uh, uh, we will start writing grants once we hit a profit point, and it looks like this year is going to be that year. Um, this is our third year as a 501c3. It takes a while to, um, to get to the point where you can actually write real grants. We will be uh, benefiting professionals that work with deaf and or uh, hard of hearing or deaf children. So people look at this, the site and go, oh, this is a haunter's convention. Yes, it is, and any haunter is welcome, but we are also a charity event. We are fundraising to be able to write grants for professionals that work with deaf and or autistic children. Nobody associated with the West Coast Honors Convention, all of us that put it on, we do it as a, an act of love. No one's getting paid for any of their, their time. There's no, no, no money exchanging hands here. You know, I have to say, Ed, that that is wonderful, and it also plays true to the heart of the haunters. I mean, all the countless hours that we do things is to give back, to see smiles on people's faces, make good memories. And, and help people in the long run. I think that just brings it full circle. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, it's, it's been a part of my life for 27 years running the Nightmare Factory down to school for that. Um, and uh, just to be able to, uh, to to help and teach more people how to be a haunter and to, to get my kids at the school involved. This is the first year that uh, they'll actually be running their own booth now. So, um, And if, if any of your listeners out there uh, have uh, associates or friends or know of somebody whose child goes to a school for the deaf. I know there's a school for the deaf down in Vancouver. Um, but if they're looking to find a way to start a haunted house at their school, uh, have them get in touch with us. We have student rates to attend um, the show now, and we also offer um, anybody who works at a school for the deaf yeah, an even better rate for attending the show. All righty, so ten days to go. I'm looking. I'm so looking forward to this. I can't wait to get down there and 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 enjoy everything that you guys have put together. So, any last words for for our audience? If you're just thinking about attending, drop me a line and let's talk about how we can get you down here. Um, your listeners need to know that the Portland Double Tree is close to selling out, and that our hotel block. Uh, at our normal rate has ended, but don't let that uh, stop you from getting a hotel room. Go ahead and make your reservation and then contact me. It's ed at hauntersconvention.com. That's my uh, email account. Let me know that you're coming. Let me know what your hotel reservation number is, and I'll see what I can do to get you a room there. Um, but we are close to selling out our block, and the hotel itself is close to being sold out. So you need to act now if you don't have a room. You can buy your tickets online. They are a little less expensive online. There will be $5 more per person um, at the show. Um, but if you want to just wait until the show, that's fine too. You can get your tickets and whatnot. Um, we are 10 days, 22 hours, and 21 minutes away from the biggest, baddest West Coast Times convention we ever brought. 
uh, and I'm really excited. I hope to see you all there. Ed, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to uh, talk to all of us. And uh, hopefully a majority of you guys, and I'm pointing at you guys right now, I mean you guys, um, hopefully uh, we'll see you there too. So thank you, Ed. Very much appreciated. Yeah. Can't wait. Can't wait to see you, Troy. Take care, everybody. I hope that you guys enjoyed that interview. Um, it's always a pleasure to talk with Ed. He's such a great guy, and he does this for a great cause. I hope to see all of you guys there. And like we just got through saying, check the website. Um, I, I Probably by this time, I will have put... Uh, text on the screen so that you guys can see that more happened today it's actually the end of the day right now uh more happened today but we will go into coc from from yesterday uh phoenix agrees we'll do coc from yesterday and then uh there's a latter part of the vlog that happened today that i'm just going to start out with tomorrow because i don't want you guys to have to sit here and watch a, a half hour vlog so anyway guys happy haunting uh, make sure that you hit the subscribe button which is down over there down over there, dang, I can, no, it's over here, I think, in the corner, if you haven't already, and uh, happy haunting, uh, see you guys tomorrow. Happy hauntings from the Bloodshed Manor.